Hi friends, today we will see superposition theorem and let us solve one problem on this. So the superposition theorem states that in any linear active bilateral network having more than one source, the response across any element is the sum of the responses obtained from each source considered separately and all other sources are replaced by their internal resistance. That means let us assume this is one circuit having more than one source. There are two sources here, one is voltage source, another one is current source. So if the circuit is like this, having more than one source, then let us assume that we need to find out the current flowing through this resistance of 8 ohms. Okay. The response, that means the current flowing through this 8 ohms, okay, uh, should be the sum of the responses. Okay, should be the sum of the responses when the sources are acting alone. Okay, so you have to find the current flowing in this branch when 10 volt source is acting alone. That is one response and you have to find the response in this 8 ohms when only this 5 ohms, 5 amperes current source is acting alone. Okay, then you have to sum the both of the responses so that you will get the response in this main circuit okay i hope you understand so that means here let us solve this problem okay so here we need to find out the current here okay so first of all there are two sources right so you have to consider only one source first so that means let us consider 10 10 volts uh, this 10 volts voltage source first and let us consider this and let us draw the circuit diagram okay so when you consider this 10 volt source, so this remaining source, okay, this current source should be replaced by their internal resistance, okay. So for current source, the internal resistance is infinity, therefore it should be open circuited, okay. This should be open circuited. So it is 2 ohms and it is 8 ohms. So here you need to find out this. Let us assume this is Ix, okay. Let us assume in this circuit the current flowing through this 8 ohms resistance is Ix. Okay, so now this is open circuited, there is no current flowing in this branch, 5 ohms resistance. So you can neglect this, okay, you can directly neglect this only, this is the only loop we have in this circuit. Therefore the current Ix should be is equal to, okay, according to ohms law, okay, 10 divided by, okay, so voltage divided by resistance. Now this is the only circuit we have, this 2 ohms and 8 ohms are in series. Therefore, 2 plus 8, you can write 10 ohms. Okay, this is 10 volts, then this is 10 ohms. So, 1 ampere current. So, Ix is 1 ampere here. So, the current flowing in this 8 ohms is 1 ampere in this circuit. Okay, this is first part. Okay, the second part is, okay, now you have to consider this current source. Now, you have to consider this current source. Okay, so when you consider this current source, what you have to do this about the voltage source? You have to uh, replace this voltage source by this uh, internal resistance. The internal resistance of the voltage source is zero. Therefore, you have to short circuit this voltage source. Okay, this is 2 ohms and this is 8 ohms. Right, this is 5 amperes is given. Okay, so now you have to find out the current flowing through this 8 ohms only. Okay, so that is our aim. Okay. So we, we need to find out the current flowing through 8 ohms. So you have to find the same same current. That means the current flowing through 8 ohms in all the circuits. Okay. So here also you have to find out the current flowing through 8 ohms resistance. So there is a current source here. So the 5 amperes current is uh, flowing uh, and coming till this uh, node. Okay. 5 amperes current is flowing like this and coming to this node. And here it is divided. Okay. So some of the current will go like this and some current will go like this. So according to current division rule, okay, according to current division rule, so 5 amperes current is coming till here, okay. So total current into, so if you want to find out the current through this branch, you have to put this opposite, br opposite branch resistance in the numerator and you have to uh, add the total resistance, so 2 plus 8 in the denominator. This is the current division rule, okay. So total current into opposite resistance divided by total resistance. So that is equal to 5 into 2 by 10. So that is equal to 10 by 10, 1 ampere. 
so in this also one ampere we got here also one ampere we got so the total current in this circuit in the given circuit so i is equal to i x plus i y that is equal to 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 amperes so the current flowing in this 1 uh, 8 ohms resistance in the given circuit is equal to 2 amperes okay now let us verify this okay let us verify this uh, using a mesh analysis okay let us verify this using mesh analysis now we will do the mesh analysis for the given circuit this is 2 ohms and this is 8 ohms and this is 5 ohms and here there is a current source 5 amperes okay here it is a voltage source of 10 volts it is like this okay now in the mesh analysis what you have to do you have to assume the currents i1 and i2 okay so in this second loop okay if you observe the current is already given the uh, using current source so i2 is equal to minus 5 amperes it is directly known okay because i2 is in this direction this current source is in this direction so both are in the opposite directions therefore i2 will become minus 5 amperes now apply kvl okay to the first loop apply kvl to the first loop so minus 10 okay so plus 2 into i1 so plus 8 into okay in this branch there are two currents are flowing so we are coming like this so i1 is coming in this direction i2 is coming in this direction so you have to put i1 minus i2 is equal to 0 so minus 10 plus 2 i1 plus 8 into i1 okay so i2 is minus 5 amperes so you have to keep that uh, substitute here so plus 5 that is equal to 0 minus 10 plus 2 i1 plus 8 i1 plus 40 is equal to 0 so minus 10 plus 10 i1 plus 40 is equal to 0 so 10 i1 uh, is equal to minus 30 okay uh, therefore i1 is equal to minus 3 amperes and we know i2 is equal to minus 5 amperes okay so now the current flowing in this branch will become i1 minus i2 the current flowing through 8 ohms resistance is equal to i1 minus i2 that is equal to minus 3 minus of minus 5 that is equal to minus 3 plus 5 that is equal to 2 amperes okay so now the current flowing in this 8 ohms branch is 2 amperes this is a verification okay so by using superposition theorem also we got the same value okay that means the it is verified. Thank you.